I'm Dr. Alicia Pavlucuk, and in this workshop, we're going to briefly talk about digital transformation and why it matters in the context of our work with young people and why it matters in the context of media literacy in general. So thank you so much for being with me today. And so let's start with the idea of digital transformation itself. You either hate it or you love it. You know, we are all surrounded by digital technologies. Digital changes are happening all the time. And it, we have kind of have this complicated relationship with it, including myself. I hate that things are going so fast and I'm unable to catch up. But at the, ta at the same time, I am a big part of it and I want to be a part of it. So this is where the digital transformation um, you know, definition and the work around it is hopefully going to help us to understand how to work with young people and how to empower them to become, you know, active digital citizens in the future. But what is digital transformation? I mean, there is so many different ways you can interpret it, but let's think about the way we do things physically. So the way we send messages, the way we communicate but also about the way we see the world, the way we feel about ourselves and the way we think about others. You know, all of this is also a huge part of digital transformation. So what is digital transformation and how can we support young people to make the most of their digital transformation journey? These are going to be the key questions uh, for this seminar. Before we start, you are doing great no matter you know how often you need to check in with yourself with your practice no matter how uh, much time it takes you to learn about new applications and digital trends you are fine i'm a digital transformation researcher and i have been doing digital youth research for the last decade and let me tell you, you're never an expert in the area. You're always learning. So let's just take that moment to think about this as a, as a tiny learning journey and not necessarily memorizing everything uh, by heart. So the media landscape has have changed radically over the last years. And most of the information that we get is through digital means. And especially when it comes to young people's uh, tendencies to consume media, which is very often throughout, uh, you know, social media and their devices. So it's important to remember that all of this is happening within the framework of digital transformation. So let's take a step back for a moment uh, to the beginning of the journey where I was told like, okay, here we go. You need to tell us what digital transformation is. I went online and this is the information that I received. I mean, there's so much out there around digital transformation, but it's all very corporate led. And when we think about the role of digital transformation in the context of young people, there is only this idea that, oh yeah, in the future, young people are going to be the consumers, users of digital technology, uh, they're going to become the workforce, that they all need digital skills to survive digital transformation. This is a bit worrying because when you think about young people in the context of digital transformation, you want them to be involved. You want, it to, you want them to be at the, at the very front of the digital transformation agenda. However, uh, what's happening so far is that young people are sort of in between this fog of different digital transformative stuff happening around them, but they don't really have agency or a say about how they want it to be. And what we want to do with this work uh, on the European level, but also beyond that, hopefully, is we want to have young people at the very front of this digital transformation network. So they know where the information is coming from and they know that they have some agency over it or think for a moment about these two graphics and think about your experience so far. Has, has any of this uh, happened to you? Or do you often feel stuck that you are in this web of digital transformation without understanding it or not really being able to, you know, create your own terms and conditions on how to participate 
in digital transformation. These topics are the topics that came out from our work with um, you know, digital transformation experts across uh, Europe involving young people, researchers, uh, youth workers. And we had a chat about you know, what is digital transformation and what are some of the things that we should investigate in digital transformation. So these are some of the things uh, that if we want to holistically think about how young people are positioned within digital transformation, so all of these processes happening at once, we would like to take this opportunity to take a moment and think about all of these different uh, aspects that are there. I'm not saying this is easy. This is a lot to take in. And I will provide you with resources where you could just say, okay, you know what? Today, I'm going to talk about ethics. What are the resources that I can check uh, for my project? Here is the official definition of digital transformation in the European youth field. Some of you might know that digital transformation has become a new horizontal priority across uh, you know, things like Erasmus projects. So it's, it's a good idea to take a quick look at uh, the definition itself in this wonderful graphic and see whether this is something that you can actually consider in your work. And the digital transformation framework is kind of thinking about all of the stakeholders in the youth sector. So people like yourself, you are involved with uh, work, uh, you know, with young people. Digital transformation should also include your voice and your opinion into the entire process. And this is all very important in media literacy because to be able to navigate the digital world in an informed and safe way, young people need to have the right skills, but also understand the entire ecosystem that they work in. And to be able to do so, we do need to understand all of these little um, you know, topics that I've shared earlier on. An example here could be you know, thinking about setting up a digital well-being project for young people. Uh, one way could be, okay, well, let's just uh, get a, 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 a technology expert to create a well-being app for young people and then test it on the young people. That would be, you know, the old idea of digital transformation where young people don't really have a say. Within the holistic and the digital transformative framework that we are proposing, young people are actually at the center of every decision. So I know this is very difficult and uh, I'm not, you know, uh, imposing naive uh, ideas uh, that all of it can take place, but taking little steps to make sure that young people are included could be a, you know, a deal breaker. What is it that we actually need to work on when it comes to well-being? What are the needs and what kind of technologies would young people use? And how can we sure that they are empowered, that they are safe and that they feel respected? Uh, we look at ethics. Uh, how can we ensure that this project is ethical? So young people are informed in the way they are sharing their data. They're receiving information in an ethical way. Thinking about multi-stakeholderism and participation, for instance, how can we ensure that this project is grounded in, in meaningful youth participation? How can we ensure that it is accessible? Kind of take a, a, a tiny moment just to look at these points. And if not, if you cannot do it yourself, why don't you hand over to the young people themselves and decide if there's any topic that they would like to cover from it? You might wonder, okay, well, I have all of these topics, where would I find information about this? And let me tell you, yeah, Salto uh, information and participation is a place to go. So uh, there's a report that you can also look at. It has all the links to all these different, um, you know, topics that I've covered throughout digital transformation. However, it's important to keep in mind that some of these topics haven't been largely covered yet. So if we take a look at some of the, you know, the, the, the framework and some of the uh, considerations that we propose, there's things like, um, you know, digital rights or digital sustainability. So the availability of these resources is low. So perhaps this is also uh, a gap for you to address with the young people and to add their voices and add their resources into this, uh, into this website. So I would say media literacy is incredibly important, but it needs to be framed within this bigger world, this bigger idea of digital transformation. And if you want to learn some, 
you know, some good practices and some of the things that happened in the sector already around digital transformation, or just to learn how other perceive digital transformation in the sector and to find out that it's actually very confusing and it's okay to be confused. Take a look at this report and I'm going to give you the uh, website address here. So thank you so much for participating in this workshop. Uh, I know this is a lot and I also, nobody expects you to become an expert in every area. This is just to find a new way to think about these digital transformation topics. Thank you.